Have you ever thought about upcycling old furniture but don't know where to start? Do you ever see things that other people have made for their kids and wish that you could give it a go? How about visiting a makers event and getting live and in-person advice and inspiration? On today's episode, we have inspiring stories from the people who make things. Make sure you stick with Evolution Power Tools TV to find out more. All right, everyone, my name's Joel from Average Joel's Joinery, and I'm excited to introduce to you a brand new episode of Evolution Power Tools TV, a monthly show dedicated to bringing you inspirational stories, DIY guides, and tips and tricks to make you a better maker. We're continuing to post a new episode of Evolution Power Tools TV every month, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on to guarantee you never miss an episode. Okay, let's see what's coming up in this show. First up, we have Kaylee Higgs, also known as DIY Mum, who shows us her workshop and projects. She has some great pieces of furniture that she's upcycled. She has also made a video guide for making a toy box out of reclaimed pallet wood, so make sure you click the link in the description to check it out. Next, we're off to Makers Central, an incredible event which brings together the top makers and big brands from all over the world. Join DK as he chats to some of the inspirational people who attended and get the inside scoop from the likes of Colin Furs, Jimmy DeResta, and Maker Central founder, Nick Zometti. Then we'll take a look at the new range of Evolution Cordless products and how they can be used to create something fun for the kids. After that, Vicky will be speaking to our special guest, Jacob Marks, also known as Jay Makes, and he'll be telling us all about his channel and the things that he creates. Click the link in the description to see the full version of Jacob's interview. Finally, it's competition time. Ruth will take a look at your recent creations and announce whose project has won some great prizes. We'll also announce the winner of our big competition and introduce next month's prizes. Okay, now you've seen what's coming up in the show, let's get started. Here's Kaylee Higgs, also known as DIY Mum. Hi, I'm Kaylee Higgs, also known as DIY Mum on Instagram. My page is about general DIY with the angle of empowering women to have a go and do it themselves. My first project was making a sandpit for my two children when they were younger and I absolutely loved it and it grew from there. It was such a sense of achievement for making, making my boys something and having them know that their mummy made it. As the kids got older and lockdown too happened, DIY became my escapism and a bit of me time from all the homeschooling. So I made a table from reclaimed scaffolding boards as we needed a new dining room table. And from then on, I kind of fell in love with, with the scaffolding boards and reclaimed wood, which as you'll see is a lot in my, in my DIY projects. So I wanted to make a toy box for my kids, or their combines, they love combines. And in our old house, everything was in plastic boxes, but it was hidden away. We didn't have that in this new house. So I wanted to make something that kind of fitted in with all the furniture that I have made, but also could be a toy box for them, which is why it is so huge, because <laughs> they needed a lot, a lot of space. Of the projects I've done, the one I'm most proud of is the storage trunk, the storage bench that I made, again, out of scaffolding boards. I'm really proud of it because I managed to, managed to get it done without too many mistakes. A lot of my projects I learn from the first one I make, I then learn not to do stuff or, or to do stuff. I used a quite a lot of different techniques in this one and that really helped with a lot of my projects going forward. I've got a lot of ideas that I want to do. I've always got ideas. I'd like to sell the furniture that I make as that would allow me to do bigger and more ambitious projects in the, in the future. Welcome to my workshop. This is where the DIY mum magic happens. I'm actually really, really happy that I've got a workshop as prior to moving into this house, I literally had a carport to work from, which in the winter months wasn't the greatest. One of the, my favorite features about this workshop is having a workbench, which I made from my existing dining room table, which allows me to be more organized so I can focus more on the creativity. 
Um, another thing that I like about this workshop is being able to store wood in the dry and actually dry it out because the scaffolding boards need to be dry before you make any furniture out of it. And generally having a space where I can keep my projects and I know that they'll be safe and dry. So this is a toy box that I made for my children. Um, it's made out of old pallets. I use the circular saw to cut down the woods to size um, and then used, used the battens to, to make sides and then screw them together. I didn't sand down the, the pallet wood too much as um, I think then it, it, it loses its um, kind of rustic feel. I added the wheels on just so that it was easier to, to get in and out and obviously having two children, um, this gets pulled about quite a lot. This is a storage bench that is my favourite piece of work that I've done and the one that I'm most proud of. I use a lot of new techniques in this, in this project which um, I can now take into other projects and use. So I countersunk the screws in and then used a wood wood plug to then cover those up so it looks kind of more fitting fits in with the wood rather than just showing a screw. So in general I just um, really love this project it was a lot of fun to make um, and I love the look it gives gives in the hallway and the actual the practical side of it as well. So this is the Evolution circular saw that I use for most of my projects. Um, it is really simple to use um, especially as, as a beginner in power tools, this is my first power tool that I actually ever had um, and it's very simple to use, very stable and um, kind of allows me to crack on being more creative. I use this a lot for cutting down my wood to size and also the one, the one thing that's great about it is it's got a 45 degree angle um, cut so you can actually cut the mitre joint on it um, which I use quite a lot. Um, I'm now going to show you a few, a few cuts. Thank you for watching me talk about my project. If you'd like to learn how to make a toy box out of reclaimed pallet wood, then click the link in the description to see my guide. Make sure you click the link in the description to go through to the Evolution Power Tools website. You'll not only find Kaylee's guide to creating a toy box from pallet wood, but you'll also find much more great content from everyone featured in this episode. Some really inspirational projects there from Kaylee. Make sure you go and check out her Instagram and also go and watch the guide to making a toy box from reclaimed wood. It's a great one for woodworking beginners. The link is in the description below. Later in the show, I'll be revealing who has won last month's competitions and I'll be telling you how you could win an Amazon Echo Show 5 or an Apple Watch SE. Keep watching Evolution Power Tools TV for your chance to win. Before we move on to our next feature, now's a good time to take a look at what you guys have been doing this month. Hayley has built a sideboard using Evolution's cordless power tools and it looks great. Using the cordless products meant that she had the freedom to work outside in the sunshine. Tim has got his hands on Evolution's new cordless sliding mitre saw and has been putting it through its paces. Barry has been using the new cordless circular saw to cut some railway sleepers for flower beds. He's really pleased with how he cuts. Lou has been using her Evolution tools on her DIY shelves project. Make sure that you tag us in all of your project videos. We love seeing what you guys are getting up to. Now, the most important entry in the calendar of any maker like myself is the Weekend of Makers Central. This incredible event brings together makers, enthusiasts and brands from all over the world. We sent DK down there to check it out. Welcome to Maker Central here at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, where hundreds of makers, creators, artists and hobbyists from across the globe have gathered together to share and celebrate their passion for all things creative. So what is Maker Central? Well, basically it's a huge gathering of DIY enthusiasts and makers who've all come together to share ideas and meet like-minded people. Some of the top exhibitors as well as some of the biggest names in making are here. All right, let's go.
Gosport is a maker space, so yeah. we're a community of makers, tinkerers and thinkers. Yeah. So we've got wood workshops, metalwork, laser cutters, electronics. So just more specifically about Maker Central, how would you describe it to the audience back home? It's amazing. If you're into making, be it sewing or building robots, there's yeah. something here for everybody. Okay. What's uh, your yeah. favourite thing about the shop? Everyone's here kind of for the same reason. It's different from most sort of exhibitions and things yeah. where people come in just to buy stuff. But everyone's kind of yeah. here for the for the weekends. And are you going to come back next year? Uh, definitely. Yes. Bigger and better. So I'm here with Colin Furs, who I actually know a lot of your videos, Colin. What's been your favourite part of the day so far? Um, well, this year I've come as, as Mr. General Public. I've not actually got a oh, stall right, okay. or a stand here or anything, so I'm trying to blend in yeah. incognito, but I'm not doing very well. No, I think I got stuck for about an hour and a half just at the door, yeah. like answering, you know, to seeing people and stuff, which is fantastic. It's all yeah. good, because I don't get out of the shed very often. Um, but I'm just looking around, looking at the stalls, yeah. seeing what other people are doing. It's just, you know, just to experience the community which I'm part of. What type of stuff do you do in the van and the creative uh, studio? It's more like what we don't do at this stage. Okay. We do pottery, wood turning, yeah. uh, pyrography. What do you find it brings to the community? I think it, it brings families together, doing yeah. a lot of arts and crafts, and seeing old traditional crafts like wood turning still yeah. alive, where they wouldn't normally see it. It's just yeah. good to get them out and using their hands and crafting yeah. and actually coming out with an end product, even if the product isn't great. Exactly. It's the process more than they the, made it themselves yeah, it's the process exactly. of getting there and not only that it, it's memories they're building memories yeah. of doing things together so i'm here with chris fisher who's also known as the blind wood turner well oh, hi i don't really have many questions to ask other than how well, I just do it all by touch and a picture in my mind. Okay. I have no vision at all. Okay. So I'm self-taught after going blind. After going blind, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it your first time at Makers Central? No, third time. Third time, okay. So nice. it's Little. great to have the show back. We yeah. love it. We love all the exhibitors, the demonstrators. You're an absolute inspiration. Thank you so much thank for talking with you. And thank you, Bamba. We'll yeah. see you very soon. Bamba. Okay, Jimmy Duresta, you have been on TV more than me, so you can carry that. You have had a few talks today. Yeah, I did a, a talk earlier where I did a little bandsaw demonstration and just a Q&A about uh, hand making. So, have you enjoyed Maker Central? Is it your first time in the UK or? No, no, this would be my third Maker Central. Okay. And it's, it's a great event and I get to see so many people again. Exactly, yeah. So what do you feel it brings to the community? Uh, just, you know, the, the community itself, like, in the flesh again you know to come here we get to shake hands with all the europeans and then also yeah. see the other european makers we we have developed so many friendships over the internet that yeah. we don't actually get to shake actually hands hug see them, people yeah. exactly. make essential has been wonderful it's been a great <laughs> great 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 couple days so i'm here with the man of the hour nick zametti the founder of maker central so have you enjoyed yourself today really really buzzing at the moment yeah, so absolutely amazing. amazing yeah there's not a show like this it's just it's everything all combined into one you can come here and hang out with your favorite maker youtuber influencer yeah. or you can come and just like watch things like robot wars you know i was amazed that it was such a combination of different things not just one specific That's it. thing yeah, yeah you've right. got all sorts of stuff but it's all relevant to like making things yeah. you know with your hands all these have been made and created exactly. and stuff and yeah. there's so many things you could do here with and, and we just kind of wanted to bring this to the community yeah. i mean the maker community is is just amazing you know it's a it's a great place Well, we've had a great day here at the NEC. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the link in the description to watch more great video content from Maker Central. See you very soon. Make sure you click the links in the description to go through to the Evolution Power Tools website. You'll not only find more in-depth video about Maker Central, but you'll also find much more great content from everyone featured in this episode. Maker Central really was a lot of fun this year and I'd encourage you guys to check out the next one. As you saw, there's something for everyone there. Thanks to DK for giving us a tour. Remember to click the link in the description to see more from Maker Central. 
Before we meet this month's guest, you guys have been sending us your DIY tips, so let's take a look. Make sure that you plan ahead because there's nothing worse than starting on a project on that day and then realizing that you don't have the right tools or the right resources that you need at that point in time and then wasting more time to go out and get them. Make a habit of keeping a pencil and a tape measure on you at all times. You don't know how annoying it will get when you can't find one of these when you really need them. How do you stop breakout from happening when you've drilled through a piece of wood? Get yourself a second piece of wood Put it on the back, secure it firmly in place with clamps, re-drill and then sacrifice that bottom layer, you will then be left with a piece of wood with a clean edge. Make sure that you have a chop saw or a mitre saw. The amount of timber that you're going to be cutting on your job is going to be insane. And um, Whether you're doing architraves, door frames, structural work like this, the amount of times that you're going to want a chop saw is going to be ridiculous. Circular saws are always good, but you know, having that chop saw just makes it so much faster, so much easier you're not going to get getting one of those. Styrofoam. If you keep some pieces of styrofoam in your workshop, you can use this as a flat surface that you can also cut through. It'll keep your material steady and it's really useful if you need to work on the floor if you don't have a really big work surface area and you need to cut down big sheets. Thanks to everyone for giving us your DIY tips. If you'd like to get involved, all you have to do is make a video of yourself telling us your top five DIY tips. Just tag us in the video and you could be featured on our next episode. If your video is featured, we'll send you a brand new Evolution Mitre Saw, so make sure you get involved. Now we're going to have a very quick look at how Evolution's great new range of cordless products can help you create something fun for your kids this summer. Today I've been using the Evolution cordless range of power tools to build a mud kitchen for my boys in the back garden. I've used the Evolution miter saw to cut up the 3x2 pieces of wood and using the circular saw to cut up some ply and the drill to put all the pieces together. So it's been a really nice British summer day building this mud kitchen in the garden for the boys. They were thrilled when they came home and saw it. Built it in the same day and they were able to enjoy it at the night time. And they've just enjoyed getting their toy power tools out and drilling and sawing. So Evolution cordless tools, because they're cordless, are so much easier to use outdoors. You can just change one battery and put it on the next tool and you're going again. There's no wires and anywhere to trip up your much faster work. They come with different battery options, so you've got your 2 amp, 4 amp, 5 and 8 amp. We've been using the 8 amp today, you know, it's still on 4 bars of juice. It's just been so powerful, the drill, the saw, it just went through the cuts perfectly. The fact that it's compatible with Herbauer as well means I can use it on my other tools as well. So. It's a big bonus. Being a dad, all you want to do is spoil your kids and, and make them happy. If that's building some projects in the garden and coming on and seeing them surprised to see it, it makes you feel like the hero. I really hope that that's inspired you guys to get out there and make something fun with your Evolution Cordless products. Right, it's time to meet our guest maker. He completed an art foundation at Manchester School of Art and he's currently studying product and furniture design at Kingston University. In 2016, he founded his own website and YouTube channel. His creations include tables, chairs, shelves, cabinets and much more. His projects are an inspiration to his many dedicated followers. It's YouTube's very own Jacob Mark. Well, it's nice to see you again, Jacob. Could you give everyone at home an overview of what you do? Yeah, so my background really is a sort of a furniture maker. Uh, so that's kind of the sort of projects I like to do. So 
the channel we've made uh, benches, desks, tables, cabinets, built-in cabinets, that sort of thing. But I try and make the videos also about how the pieces are designed as well. So I guess maybe the thing that I'm slightly different at is I don't just make things for the sake of making them. I'm trying to sort of explore a concept and I'm trying to communicate how the piece has ended up being the way it sort of has. I guess that's kind of the point because I'm really passionate about DIY. And it's got so many benefits, you know, from you can make exactly the thing you want and you understand how it's made and you can repair it. But it's, there's still lots of barriers. You know, it's expensive, you've got to have the space, you know, you've got to understand the skills to do it. So I guess a lot of the projects are about breaking down those barriers. So the drywall one, everyone who's sort of redone the house knows if we shoot drywall, if you want to break it down, you've just got to use a knife and snap it. So it's sort of how can I use that quality of the material and, and sort of t use it to break down those barriers. So what we ended up making was a series of furniture that you can make using just a knife, a ruler, and a bottle of PVA glue. They can make a whole range of furniture. I appreciate seeing you try to encourage people how to think differently, just using resources they may find. And wood isn't getting any cheaper, is it? No, no, exactly. Yeah, like you've got these ubiquitous materials that are always around us, pallet wood and things, and it's about how you can elevate them, their status, and turn them into something that people want to have in their homes. And that's kind of really important. Something that I really like about your channel, it's obvious to me that you're not doing things for the sake of it. For example, when you did bowls out yeah, of paper yeah, yeah. and you were experimenting and showing everybody the different types. Yeah, I try and have that balance between, I mean, I'm not sure I'm really a how-to channel. I don't know how to do things, but just sh showing how you, c you could do it and how you can take these materials and make things out of it. Now you've got over 100 videos on YouTube. Which one caught people's attention the most? I think the, the videos which tend to catch people's attention are probably, again, the ones that have that transition little element within them. So it's the palette wood wall art. I think a lot of people quite, quite like that one because, again, it's, you know, it's taking a sort of material that no one wants and turning it into something that you'd have on your wall. I think people quite enjoy watching renovations and so I did a series that was renovating my bedroom, which was kind of tinged with adolescence, sort of posters everywhere, and sort of stripping it all back and putting a new bed in. The built-in wardrobe. Built-in wardrobes, was... yeah, that was really well received. Sort of able to completely change the feel and look of that space. I think so, yeah. So I think those sort of videos where you can see, got a good sort of pre-act narrative, you can see start, work's done, mm -hmm. and something different at the end. Which video did you find the most challenging? I think actually the most challenging one was the ones which aren't about making, they were sort of about going out and about. So like, did a film about Maker Central, did a film about meeting fellow YouTubers. We've seen you use a lot of different materials on a lot of different projects, but which one are you most proud of? It is maybe that the drywall series, because it kind of set out what it was meant to do. It was meant to break down the barriers that people have to making things and the end result could be made with tools like most people have in their drawers. So now that you've graduated from your course, you have quite a bit of time to think about what you're going to do next. Have you thought about where you're going to take things? I really want to get back to making videos and sort of working out a new format that enables me to sort of be creative and carry on trying lots of new things. You know, I want to try and exhibit my work and do new projects, the same as always. Well, I wish you all the best with whatever you decide. And if you want to see more of Jacob, go to his YouTube channel, J Makes, and you can visit his website. And if you'd like to see our full interview, click through to the Evolution Power Tools website now. Thanks, Vicky. It was great to get an insight into Jacob's channel. Make sure you check out J Makes on YouTube and take a look at his website too. Right, it's competition time now, so it's over to Ruth to find out what you can win. Thanks Joe. hi everyone, I'm here to announce the winners of last month's competitions and tell you how you can win some fantastic prizes. I'm Ruth from Kids Invent Stuff and I'll be your guest presenter for competitions this month. Megan is away, so it'll be my job to let you know how the customer service team has been helping people this month. 
I'll also be letting you know which of you has won our picture competition and will be enjoying their prize of a relaxing spa experience. I'll also be announcing the winner of last episode's big competition that had a grand prize of a Landman Jewel Burner Gas Barbecue. Make sure you stick around as later on I'll be telling you how you can enter our picture competition and win an Amazon Echo Show 5. We'll also be giving away an Apple Watch SE GPS just for answering a simple question. What a fantastic prize, right? Before we get on to the competitions, I just want to tell you a bit about some of the conversations that the Evolution Power Tools customer service team have been having with their customers this month. Susan has been in touch via email to tell us that she was having a problem with the laser light on her R255 SMS Mitosaur. The customer service team were able to quickly identify that the laser had been switched off at the handle. Susan was delighted with the help she received. David called the team to ask how to correctly attach the blade to his R355 CPS chop saw. The customer service team were able to talk him through the process over the phone and he was really pleased with the outcome of the call. Duncan got in touch via live chat to ask about his spare parts for his Rage 5S table saw. A member of the Evolution customer service team was able to link him to the parts diagram for this unit and he was able to select and order the parts he required. Duncan was over the moon with the quick, friendly and straightforward support he received. If you need any information about Evolution Power Tools products or any support with your purchases, the customer service and technical support team are on hand 8am to 5pm Monday to Friday. Right, let's get on to the competitions. You guys have been sending in the pictures of the things you've been making and they all look so good. Let's have a look at some of them. First up, Danielle has tagged us in this picture of a chest of drawers she's upcycled. Great work, Danielle. Next, look at this amazing build from Barry. He's put together this incredible pergola as an entertainment space. David has tagged us in this picture of a project he's working on using his Evolution Mitosaur. Great work, David. This is a great picture of some coasters that Michael has made. What a brilliant project and a great photo. Finally, Laneswood Craft has tagged this picture of their workshop with their trusty Evolution Chop Saw taking pride of place. All of your pictures have been great, but only one of them has won the competition and the Spa Day prize. I'm very pleased to announce that our winner is Barry for his picture of his amazing pergola. Great work Barry, your prize is on its way to you now. Next month for our July 2022 episode, we'll be giving away an Amazon Echo Show 5 as our picture competition prize. The Amazon Echo Show 5 connects to Alexa to give you vivid visuals on a 5.5 inch screen with crisp, full sound. All in a compact design that fits in any room, in any home. If you want to take part in our picture competition, all you have to do is post a picture on Instagram of something that you've made recently. Make sure you use the hashtag EvolutionTVWin or your picture may be missed. You can even tag us in a picture that you've uploaded already, it doesn't have to be new, just add the hashtag to your existing picture to enter. In our last episode, we gave away a Fitbit Charge 4. Congratulations again to Michael, whose picture of a picnic table for squirrels bagged him this fantastic prize. Michael has sent us this video of him with his prize. Just want to say a big thank you to Evolution to Power Tools for my prize for entering their pitch competition. Thanks. Thanks again, Michael. Remember, if you're watching this after July 2022, the competition will be closed. You can, however, still take part. Click the competition link in the description to see the latest prizes. Right, in our last episode, you took part in our big competition to win a Landman Jewel Burner Gas Barbecue. All you had to do was answer A, B or C to this simple question. What colour t-shirt is Russell wearing in the start of this video? Was it A red, B yellow, or C, blue? The answer is of course C, blue. Well done to John for getting the correct answer. Your Landman Jewel Burner Gas Barbecue is on its way to you. 
If you want to be our big winner just like John, stick around for this month's grand prize competition. Speaking of winners, remember Alan who won our grand prize of a Unifira pizza oven? Well, as you can see, he's been putting his prize to great use. Really glad to see you're enjoying your prize, Alan, and thank you very much for sending us this video. For next month's big competition, you could be in with a chance of winning an Apple Watch SE GPS with a recommended retail price of 329. All you have to do is answer the following very simple question. Earlier in the episode, we met Kaylee Higgs who asked you to click through to the Evolution Power Tools website to watch her project video. The question is, what is the project in the video? Is it A, a toy box, B, a bench, or C, a trellis? Click the competition link in the description to answer the question. We'll then choose a winner at random from all the correct entries and announce who's won on the next episode. Remember, if you're watching this after July 2022, the competition will no longer be active, but you can still click the link to see the latest question and prize. Before I go, I have even more Evolution products to give away. To win yourself an Evolution Mitosaur, click through to the competitions page to find out what you need to do. That's it for competitions this month. Make sure you click the link in the description to take part in the competitions and win some great prizes. See you next time. Thanks, Ruth. Right, that's it for today's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you never miss an upcoming episode. Please comment below if you have any questions, suggestions or ideas for content and make sure you come back next time for more great inspirational stories. Thanks a lot for staying with me and I hope that you've enjoyed the show. That's it from me, catch you on the next one.